God bless you guys out there in Jesus' name. Um, I had these two dreams kind of around the same time. And uh, they both have kind of the same theme. And uh, they're actually quite positive dreams. Now, are they prophetic? I don't know. But I had them both around the same time. And the first dream... I mean, they're both very short. But the first dream I had, I opened this treasure chest and I hear the words, millions for ministry. And then in the second dream, I am looking at a lottery ticket and it says 143,000 three times in a row, like a winning ticket. I got all the numbers three times in a row. Um, I know that I looked it up 143 apparently means I love you and uh, 143,000 I don't know I don't know what that what that means really but um, I do know that something sounds good about this because there's a lot of bad going on in this world today let me tell you it's not that much much good going on and uh, when you read the Bible and you see the end time scenario it's not a it's not very fun looking but if maybe God is planning a ministry in these last days that he's gonna fund and because of uh, God's people standing still Strong, not giving in to the the lies because there's a lot of lies going on today in the church and if you stand up to them you're not going to have a fun time it's not going to be fun nobody's going to like you nobody's going to be your buddy everybody's going to try and gaslight you and make you feel like you're the moron out of everybody in the church they're not going to stand up for you they're not going to join with you they're not going to they're not going to support anything you're saying if you dare to come and speak a word against the fraudulence going on in the church today and so maybe God is going to reward people like that maybe God is going to reward them for standing strong for not giving in for not compromising their faith and and allowing idolatry to take them over. Instead, they stood strong in a time of total depravity going on in the church. It's not like they're going out and having orgies and uh, stuff like that, but it's total depravity in God's eyes because when you take idols and you, and you, uh, you bring them into God's church and you, you, you are basically... You're basically saying, I'm a harlot. I'm a harlot because I sell the body of Christ for money. And that's how Jesus sees it. It's not good. It's not a good thing. Having a form of godliness but denying the power. You deny the power by allowing idols in. You, del you deny his power because he's coming for pure and spotless bride. He doesn't want all this evil in there. So I believe that the Lord gave me these dreams as a uh, encouragement showing... That he does reward people for this. It's not all horrible. It's not all. Um, it's not all bad times. There's good times coming. There's rewards coming for God's people who stand and do not do not give in. Do not give in to the lies because the church. Let me tell you, they're going to need somebody. They're going to need people that didn't give in because they're, they're not going to know what's going on when the, when the judgment comes down from God. They're not going to know what to do. They won't know where to go, what to do. They're just going to need guidance from people that have gone through the refining process already. Praise God that he's allowed people to endure such a beatdown from the church in this day.